sugar vapes. Oh Lord, have genuine mercy. These are all the snacks that we're trying. Good morning and welcome to part three of my Disneyland Paris December 2021 vlogs. Um, it's quite early at the moment, it's about 9.40 a.m. Um, it's our checkout day, obviously it's our last day here. We have our Eurostar back to London this evening from Paris, so we need to get to Paris first with the RER. Um, I didn't really sleep much last night. I don't even know why, I just don't know. Oh, it's really sad. These beds are really comfortable and obviously I did sleep well, it's just, um, I think I fell asleep when I wasn't prepared to sleep, if that makes sense. I was watching some YouTube and I was like planning, fully planning on like stopping at some point, you know, going to get ready for bed properly and then I just fell asleep with the YouTube videos. Shout out to YouTube videos who make me sleep. Genuinely speaking though, I do enjoy like listening to YouTube and falling asleep to it, but when I'm ready for sleep, yesterday I wasn't last night. So I had like broken sleep, if that makes sense. But that's fine, life goes on. Um, and it's our last day, so I will still wake up, do my life. We need to check out at 11. So we've still got time anyway, but we do want to try and leave in the next 20 minutes or so um because why not you know we're ready we're up and it's our last day we want to make the most of it i have shown the view out of our uh, sequoia lodge window in other vlogs and also in a separate sequoia lodge tour video that i've uh, filmed but i just wanted to show it to you again because i am going to miss this view i think it's so nice with the little route walking route down there the fact that we can actually open the window albeit very very slightly i think makes a big change because sometimes in some of the disney hotels i've noticed you can't properly open the window at all really and having some fresh air into the room in the morning is always nice in my opinion also i thought you would find my outfit hilarious or at least a bit odd for the day um i mean i like this mickey jumper don't get me wrong obviously this is actually my first time properly wearing it out i've worn it inside before but not to a disney park or anywhere exciting but because it's meant to be cold today it's actually currently two degrees outside and there's like you know symbols of snow for at least three hours of the day i mean who knows whether or not it will snow yesterday it wasn't meant to snow and we did have snow a little bit in the parks check out the vlog for yesterday if you haven't but today actually says snow is highly likely so i didn't want to just wear the jumper or like a jumper with t-shirts or anything in there i wanted to be as warm as possible so under this like this is odd under the jumper i'm literally wearing like another like full-on warm jumper that normally i feel like most normal people including myself when i'm not in disney i would be wearing this bigger jumper over this mickey jumper that's much more thin and actually doesn't really do anything for warmth but because i wanted to actually have mickey on me still and like have a cute outfit not just a plain you know i don't even know what color this is black something um outfit i did it the opposite way so it's a bit weird i'm feeling a bit odd about it as you can see like the actually the actual wooden like woolen um warm jumper is like coming out of my top jumper but we'll just have to roll with it that's the way life goes you know you need to put well you don't need to i sometimes like to put beauty above comfort especially when it comes to mickey's beautiful face here dressed as santa we have arrived at the parks at the entrance of disneyland park and there's a bit of a queue quite a bit of a queue it's a friday today the 3rd of december it's a quarter to 11. um hopefully it won't take too long to go in but it does look like a long line to be fair so because i have an annual pass i have my own entrance uh, anyone who has an annual pass that is a magic plus or infinity at the time has their own en entrance which is quieter and you can use it it's on the side of uh, the parks so i spoke to a cast member just there and i was like i've got an annual pass my friend doesn't do you think we'd both be allowed to go through the ap entrance and he said it's worth a try that i can't tell you because it depends on the cast members there but he said i would go and try because the queue is really long so we have our fingers crossed right now rakaya let's hope that uh, yeah <laughs> let's hope that it somehow works because this is it this is so quiet is it hardly anyone please wish us luck bad news it didn't work which is very very sad it's actually very frustrating there were two cast members there one of them was like yeah i don't see why not but then his colleague was like mm, no <laughs> I guess it depends and that's what the cast member here told us as well he said go and try depends on what kind of cast member is at the entrance of the annual pass thing so i, I think it, the, the frustration is that it's only me and one person if it was like a family and, and only one of them had an annual pass i'd be more understanding of the situation but it's okay we don't mind queuing i don't want to be negative right at the start of the day we are in and it actually didn't take as long as i thought it would because the queue looked very long you would have seen it 
but I think we might have been in the queue for about seven, eight minutes maximum. Very efficient, like long queues, but they're quite quick at checking everything and it's all good. Look at this beautiful, beautiful Happy Holidays entrance. Last time I'll be seeing this, this year in 2021. Are you excited, Lakaya, to be seeing some cute, cute animals above us in a bit? <laughs> though he's on his own today for some reason beautiful scene awaits us at the end of Main Street USA. We've come to have a quick look at the information board. Pirates is the one right that we really potentially want to try and go on. 35 minutes right now but overall the queue times don't seem too bad considering it's a Friday. We are now in Frontierland. Chippendale might be meeting me earlier than I thought uh, so we clearly did have a plan. I love how they have the pleasure of meeting you. <laughs> Obviously of course he wouldn't want to meet me. Um, yeah but yeah if you're if you're wondering where they are their photo location is quite hidden actually. It's by the to the right of, yeah. exactly to the right of Cowboy Cookout. They're over there. You can kind of see them behind me. Anyway, because not many people know where they are, their keys are actually very short as well. I had to ask a cast member just to be sure where they are. Um, and Goofy's cue, because Goofy's cue is just around the corner. His cue is quite long. I mean, I understand it's Goofy. I want to see him anyway. But this is phenomenal. Just 10 people. Did you actually just count them? Yeah. It looks like that's so few people. Ra people. Rakaia's good at maths. Not sure what Dale is doing over there with that little branch. <laughs> mischievous very mischievous as always oh, <laughs> I know what's up <laughs> oh no Dale's been naughty oh this is hilarious this is too funny oh come on brothers <laughs> chip be forgiving <laughs> I mean, the chip like, just told us to be silent. I know! <laughs> Literally, we got told. Oh, oh no. A peace offering. An olive branch. <laughs> oh. Uh. They are so cute. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's life? Dale, are you okay? You've been quite naughty today. <laughs> Looking good, though. Everything's okay? No. Not for Chip. <laughs> I thought you made up. It's all good now. You gave maybe this as a present to your brother. <laughs> you look great. You've got. You look great now. It's all good. Chip. Chip. You've paused. <laughs> oh Dale, you remind me a little bit of my brother. To be fair, my brother can be quite cheeky as well. So, shout out to <laughs> non shout out to him. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. God, I didn't. I... Sugar vapes. Oh lord, have genuine mercy. Lord. No. Well done. May oh. Maybe we need some calm and peace and quiet for Christmas. Is that what you're looking forward to? Okay, okay. Oh no. I've got my awful hat here now, thank you. Thanks, Dale. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank Bye. You. So, Tick and Tack were hilarious. Tick and Tack. Tick and Tack, <laughs> even there. Like, they are legit, like, so, so funny. Hilarious, weird, like, unpredictable. You just never know yeah. with them. Really, really fun meet. We have now come to 
Adventureland on our way to Pirates. We don't know what, what, what the queue time is going to be. It was 35 minutes earlier, but that was about an hour ago. So we're hoping, because it's about lunchtime, although here in Disneyland Paris, lunchtime is mainly around 1 to 2 rather than 12. People eat lunch here, generally speaking, a bit later than they would in the UK. So maybe we'll be lucky, but even if it's half an hour, we don't mind waiting. So the posted time for Pirates is 25 minutes. I'm going to time on my phone and see if it exactly is that or not. Well, so far we've been in the queue for 19 minutes and 30 seconds, so close to 20 minutes. And the posted wait time was 25 minutes, and we're very much at the end. So I feel like this might have been one of the most accurate queue lines and posted times that I've done so far in Disneyland Paris. 23 minutes, 20 seconds, and we're literally going to be on the next boat. This has been a phenomenally accurate situation. Down? No. No, we just... Hi. Yeah? Okay, I forgot. I've been on this ride no, for a long time. No, no, it's okay. There'll be that, that reassures me, though, because it means it's not too intense. Sure. In terms of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they'd strap you in if it was going to be, like... Dangerous. <sighs> when was the last time we went on this ride together? 2017? Uh, we didn't do it in, we didn't do it in Florida, yeah. did we? I don't like the uh, Pirates ride in Florida. It's something I always say. It, well, the one here is much better. Sorry, Contract. When we've done it, I'll remember if we did it. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. But we're off, we're off. Bye! <laughs> we're here to merge us together for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just, yeah. Here's uh, Captain Jack's restaurant, formerly known as the Blue Lagoon. Fun fact, I preferred it when it was called Blue Lagoon because the menu was better in my opinion. I honestly love this ride so much, especially at the moment, because it's a small world, it's closed, sadly. And by the way, some of you have asked me like, how long you think uh, Small World will be closed. Nobody knows, but as far as I'm aware, Small World is going to be closed for at least a year. So it potentially won't even be open for the 30th anniversary next year. So I'm sad, I love that ride, but I love Pirates as well. And I really enjoyed our journey on it. Also, interesting fact, if you get the photo on the ride, if you want to get it, um, and somebody on the ride on the same boat as you has had they, uh, taken their mask off. They literally put masks on the people before they... Did you know this? Was it? So basically, if you get the photo, because um, loads of people just take their masks off yeah, on the ride, they can't give you the photos unless they put fake masks on everyone. And if, and if the person who takes your mask off yourself, you won't get the photo at all. But if with other people, in the, I love it. I think it's amazing. But that's why sometimes they take for the cast members better because they have to literally like Photoshop for a fake oh, mask. That is in, I <laughs> live for that. I know. I love it as well because they're like so you're, the person will never be able to do a photo ever um, without. It's, that's I know. So, funny. so basically, obey the rules. Leave your mask on even on rides. That's so funny. So good. <laughs> I'd love to see the Photoshop one. Yeah, you, 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 see you see it. You see it. did it on us. We have now come to Fancyland and we are heading off to the old mill over there. It's also raining by the way as you can see uh, quite a bit. But yeah, apparently they've got some new snacks at the old mill that they released a couple of weeks ago. And I'm very, very intrigued to try them. So basically, this uh, old mill place, firstly, fun fact, it used to be an actual ride, the old mill, back in the 90s. But up until a couple of weeks ago, they used to sell the Mickey Waffles here. They still sell them, don't worry, it's just in a different location on Main Street. Now they are selling these cute um, ball things. <laughs> There's a beef one, there's a meat one, there's also a cheese one. I like both beef and cheese, so I kind of want to try both of them. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, thank you. So these are all the snacks that we're trying, the little mini pancakes. That is apparently a Dutch thing, which is cute. These are the beef balls and these are the cheese balls and it's still raining, so we're undercover, so we can't really sit. We're literally just eating here. So, and my hands, I can't feel them. <laughs> like, it's really, really cold today. Um, oh, I'm gonna try one of these beef ones. The ruffle really hot. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Oh, I suppose yours is so fresh oh. as well. Oh god, the pain of taking a glove off <laughs> when it's this cold. So I want to save my cutlery for This is really good. It's very hot when I bit into it, obviously, because it was just nicely and freshly made. But, um, yeah, it's nice. Mm. Nice, meaty, warm, hearty. It's a good snack. I'm happy Bless to have them. Ooh. Is somebody sneeze? That was a bit sneeze. <laughs> oh, you can, you can literally see him. <sighs> out of us. This is how cold it is. Our first meal of the day. I know, literally, <laughs> and it's like... Yeah, one o'clock, close to one. Mm. I did get the mayo, but I can't even. I, I don't know if I picked my fingers. I don't know if my fingers work to like open That's the why I didn't get sauce. Um, 
I am going to put some on it though because I can't. Even in the freezing cold, one needs a mayo. Do you mind? Do you want to take one before I put the mayo on it? Yeah. Do you want your cheese one in yeah, there? The mayo. One, I'm oh gonna try gosh. a cheese one now without the mayo first to get the, yeah. the authentic taste. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. I think I prefer yeah. the cheese one actually. It's a very strong taste. It's a, it's a strong taste. It is. Cheese. Well, we're in France, so. so if you don't like cheese, don't get it. Yeah. But I enjoy cheese. I like this a lot. Very, very good. And nice to have a vegetarian option as well. So we finished the balls. Yeah. Did you enjoy right. them? They're really yeah. nice. Very, very. I'm, I'm genuinely happy that they have this now. Something different, you know, something new is always good. That is also savoury because I generally yeah. prefer savoury snacks and savoury things to sweet snacks. And Disneyland Paris. <laughs> We're about to I know, have I know. Well. Disneyland Paris normally I love Disneyland Paris snacks, though. I have made a full video, you know, trying loads of different snacks. You can check that out if you want to. But the majority of Disneyland Paris snacks are like sweet and also yeah. Nutella fried, which is yeah. fine. I love Nutella, but. It's, it's nice. nice to have variety. Because like especially when if you I just find when you're in, when you're in like Disney, it doesn't matter which Disney, but you're on like a sort of different time frame with your meals. Yeah. So sometimes your first meal of the day will be oh, at like one o'clock. Yeah. Um and you don't necessarily want to take sweet. You do something you want to take favorite. Yeah, but not something too big either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the perfect thing for that. Yeah, and anyway. they're very bite sizey. I'm they? excited about these uh, little mini mini pancakes. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my, I've got my, oh, oh we've got our focus. I put my glove back on. Yeah. Oh yeah, cold. <laughs> Yeah, they've gone cold now. It's fine. It's very cold. Very so. nice though. Yeah. The very baby pancakes. Mm -hmm. Mm. I recommend. So the snacks were good. Genuinely very, very good. I would recommend them. All the things that we got were very good. I feel like I can see myself going back to the old mill in the future. On my future trips, my hands, I literally cannot like Ooh, even feel them anymore. No, oh. sadly not. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh. I just have non-functioning hands for the next few hours. It's, it's, it's really cold today. Moment of silence for a small world over here. I've Look. Fallen yeah. <laughs> what did you say? I said our fallen soldier. Oh. <laughs> Rukaya, it literally is our fallen soldier. It's like so sad to see it this way. So sad. Oh, please come back to us soon, small world. You know, I genuinely don't understand why they're even doing this. Like, I understand they might, like this, the ride might need a little bit of renovation from here, from here and there. But they had this small world closed for quite a long time back in 2017, I think, quite a few years ago. So like, why do they need to do like a long? closure again i think the ride is fine as it is i mean obviously i don't work here i don't know what's going on i'm sure they need to actually do some important jobs to it i just want to just want to go on the ride again we are slowly but surely making our way towards discovery and in fact we are in it now because we want to see if we can get on buzz lightyear again uh, we don't know what the queuing time is for it but we've got about an hour until the christmas parade starts i don't even know how it's gonna turn out in the rain if it's still raining by that point hopefully it will be all good but um, yeah, we, we want to do something that is indoors and Buzz is a fun one and Rakaya thinks she can beat me this time and I don't think she can. If you haven't watched my day one vlog from this trip, December 2021, uh, day one, uh, you will see me beat her on this ride and I was very, very happy. 35 minutes, that's not too bad. Let's go in. Bonjour. Star Command a bien choisi son moment pour envoyer de nouvelles recrues. Bon, très bien, nouveau Rangers de l'espace, écoutez attentivement. It is almost time for us to go on the ride. Okay, do you think you're gonna win? I'm gonna try my damn shield. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best as well. Please wish for me to win. Right, I really want to focus on winning, so I'll speak to you at the end of the ride. Look how well I did, guys! 93,000. Oh my god! We're not even gonna show Rakaya's score because no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Okay, Rakaya. This is at the shop uh, at the end of Buzz and he just says I need space and obviously Buzz is on the other side and caffeine Disneyland Paris. I very much relate to this month. It's also just very like 2020 slash 2021 isn't it? We've just come outside and the parade has started. It started a little bit earlier than we thought. I didn't check the time to be fair. I just thought it would be 2.15 again because it was 2.15 yesterday. But I guess it depends. So make sure you do check the parade times if you really want to watch it. Uh, there's Mickey though. And I love seeing him there by the castle.
timing of the parade? So, we didn't, we just looked and the timings are different. So today the timings are different, uh, it was 1.45 and uh, the next one is at 4.20 yeah. p.m. Which is really random, it's a Friday, park hours are the same, so definitely make sure to check the parade. Thank it was fine for us because we watched it many times and yeah. we still managed to catch it like really with, with phenomenal timing. We, we come out of bars and yeah. then Mickey's suddenly there. Yeah. What's your favourite float? Um, oh, I uh, love the gingerbread. Yeah, you hit on the back of the. Which, what, is there? it behind Mickey? No, I no, no. It's behind. Is it behind Mickey? Minnie, behind Minnie, because she's a, yeah, she's a, like a little Minnie's baker. Love. Yeah. Oh, I. I, I, I love them. about them. I love them so much. And then I love the, uh, the poor like. princesses on the ground. Yes. <laughs> They're my faves. You, you like the ground princesses? Yeah, I prefer the ground princess selection over there. I like the princess though generally right. just because I like the song that goes, As long as it's Christmas. Oh, yeah. it, it makes my heart happy. I feel like I can die happy whenever I hear that song and watch that float. Anyway, my battery's dying, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, new battery, you're all good. We can continue with the vlog. Uh, we just come into Emporium very quickly on our way out of the parks because I wanted to check out the new Encanto merch. I saw Encanto last night here at Disney Villages Cinema in French and I really enjoyed it and I actually will probably go and see it again in English when I go back to London but yeah now that I've seen the film I know the story I just wanted to see what kind of merch they have they've got the doll um, Mirabelle her name is which is cute really enjoy that character actually they've got these little dresses as well that you can get for your kids and then on the other side oh look at her let me know in the comments down below by the way if you have seen this film yet and what you think of it because I really enjoyed it they've got these plushes as well which uh, I want to say people are about 20 euros normally that's what the plushes are let's have a quick look oh 30 euros so uh, I guess it's because they're quite big um, I do enjoy Mirabelle I think she's a really really cute and cool character also you can get these massive sets of basically all the main characters I want to say she had a hilarious and really really fun song in the film um, and yeah some of the oh, he's also cute I can't remember his name but he was lovely very cute and all the animals as well hilarious they even have these lounge flies which is exciting for this land to actually be bringing them out 80 euros this is I do enjoy lounge fly bags I do collect them but I'm trying to now reduce them and not collect as many but this is a very fun one it's very colorful it does represent the film quite well in my opinion and it's obviously of the house and the house if you didn't know is magical it's basically alive oh cool very nicely detailed right and canton merch done we are now off to the studios we have now <laughs> teleported to Walt Disney Studios. This is actually our first time in this park on this trip. Yeah! We've first time in this park in about three, four years since 2017. Yeah, it is. But it's exciting because, well, firstly, we need a hot chocolate, something to warm us up. And also, very soon, hopefully, if the queue's not too long, Rakai will be going on to after, and I cannot wait for it. Hello, Walt. Hello, Mr. Mickey Mouse. And Mr. Walt Disney, I suppose. We're going to have a quick look at the information board to see what the queue time is for Tarafter. Hopefully, it won't be long. I really, I mean, the park looks pretty quiet right now. I think, yeah, it's not busy, and it's because, especially because it's raining. Yeah. A lot of people tend to give up. I, I say never give up. <laughs> yeah, you're at Disney, enjoy your life even if it's raining, even if it's snowing. No matter what the conditions of the weather, just have fun because you can. So 45 minutes, annoyingly, for Tower of Terror. My hope is it won't be as long. We're going to go to it and see what it actually looks like in terms of the length. So the queue of Tower of Terror is at 45 minutes. We came to the queue, I had a look, and it does look like it probably will be about 40 minutes, half an hour at least. Um, we could wait there, but mo like most of the waiting is actually outside. The, the, the last bit is inside, but... At the moment it looks like with a 40 minute queue there will be some queuing outside and I just want to get on Tower of Terror as quickly as possible so we can enjoy our lives and also I'm using this as an excuse for Kaya's reactions um, these are something as an excuse to use Premier Access for the first time it's not something I think you need it's not something that I would use on all my trips I've never used it before I can't believe you've never used it before but I don't need it why would you? I did a whole video Kaya in fact okay. you clearly don't watch my I've done a whole video where I've showed you that you do not need it like no. if you plan your day well you can go on all yeah. the rides that have it uh, with without, my, without having yeah. to use it. Obviously, you, might, you have to do some queuing. But, yes. Yeah. Um, in any case, today we'll use it. I, don't, I literally didn't even know where to go to buy them. I told the guy, like, where, how do we even I, get I figured it out. Yeah. Like, this is how bad I am. Yeah. This is how much I have not used it. Yeah. But this says the next available slot is between 3, which is like in 4 minutes, yeah. and 4 p.m. And it's 12 euros per guest. That's I want Makai to cover, so I'll be paying for her. Yeah. We'll be spending, yeah. well, 20, you're, you're the mathematician. 24 euros. I'm spending 24 euros right now because I want to see Rakaya scream. Which is actually kind of ridiculous when you say it like that. Because I've also, actually also promised Rakaya a, a, a little treat afterwards. Yeah. So basically, I'm, I'm spending a lot of money right now <laughs> with this. So, to Tara's so make sure you like this video or subscribe or yeah. something just for the lols. Yeah. So you go onto the map, click 
click the thing, so click Tower of Terror for us, and then you can get it. Which, I suppose for some people it's like intuitive, but for some people it might not be. Yeah. So, there you go. Indeed, I need to get my password Sam is now going to pay the money. got my password wrong. And I am going to uh, have a great time. She will enjoy it. I know she will. Oh my god, why can't I remember my password to go into my bloody account? So, finally I managed to get into my account. I for some reason couldn't remember my password. Um, this is what you can see over here. I'm literally about to basically confirm my annual pass number and details and everything and add more guests as well oh okay obviously you need to do that i might have to like actually let's take it apart oh, interesting. interesting so it says add more guests do i just need to like put the information oh, have you got your ticket on you uh, oh it's, it's on bad. me okay let me take this do you want it to close it really quickly it to me Turn now <laughs> so scan the barcode on your ticket or pass there is no bar barcode here though do you know what i mean just pop it in enter ticket manually uh, so Sam is just entering my ticket number. Oh, this is annoying. This is, this is going to take a while. One. Okay. Without the one one? Not put the one one in it? Uh, one, two, four, five, nine, three. Okay, zero, okay. Zero. Now, one, two, four, five, nine, three, two, zero. Maybe I'll put the one and the one as well. No. Uh, yeah. One eternity later. After some trials and tribulations, we just decided to join the queue because the queue time has gone down to half an hour, 30 minutes. I mean, it's still a queue. Yeah. That process, not yeah. good. I mean, it's, I'm glad I got to try it. Um, yeah. But we couldn't figure out the yeah. number of Rakaia's tickets, which is yeah. a hotel pass, magic uh, pass. Um, yeah, because basically there's one longish number um, by the reservation and then a num uh, well, a long sequence of numbers and letters. Yeah. And there's no way to add letters. So, like, we, did, we tried the one with the numbers and it wouldn't let us continue yeah we went to the cast member at Tower of Terror and asked the him premier access literally the entrance. premier exactly yeah. he, we thought we thought he would know because yeah. he's he works for the premier access area of it and even he was confused he looked at Rakaia's and he was like have you tried this I was like yeah we've tried it we did it again with it oh thank you for the lovely umbrella <laughs> and he said well I don't know I don't know I don't know and he said what you can do is you can go to the entrance of the park and have like have them add your Rakaia's ticket to your annual pass that would take a while or like go and find an information place and maybe they'll be able to help you I was like, it's like, okay, don't take my time. I do that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you're not going by 24 years. Also, by the time we do that, we would have probably done yeah, half an hour would have so passed. Cute. So it's such a weird thing because it like, cheese, oh. <laughs> Lou. <Jeez>, oh. <laughs> That was fireworks, that was fireworks. Uh, Mickey, oh. not Mickey, sorry, Goofy and Donald are on stage at the moment at the studios having a little Christmas thing. Oh my and God, <laughs> that's that's both scared, time jumped. That's the Jesus out of me. <laughs> the of oh. <laughs> so this half an hour queue is quite long. There's quite a few zigzags that we have to go through, but it seems to be moving quickly. So hopefully you should just keep going at this pace and it won't take longer than half an hour. Well, the good news is it's only been about maybe 15, 20 minutes max that we've been in the queue and we're already inside, one step closer to Rakaia, <laughs> screaming hopefully. I will see a maximum all the way across. The cool thing is that the pre-show is back on now. The pre-show has been gone for a while. Oh know? yeah, I did hear about that. And this is exciting because yeah. you know it gets you in the mood. And the game that I always like to play is are we going to get the thing in French or in English? Mm, so leave your, leave your guesses down below. I think we're going to get French. Yeah. Yeah. Probably French. Step is coming. You've got maybe about five seconds to maybe put your final guesses in the comments down below as to whether it's going to be English or French. I was right. How cool are those ticker hats on the group over there? You can kind of see that anyway. Really fun hats. Anyway, um, we're about to go on the ride. I can't film on the ride. You're not allowed to film. So I guess I will speak to you when we come off it. That was a very, very, very scary sequence. I've done Tower of Terror many times and that was one of the worst ones. Rukai is still up there. She did very well. I'm really proud of her because it was pretty scary. As promised, we are now heading into Place de Remy, Matatouille land, France to have a look at, what did you say? I said France in France. France in France, <laughs> indeed. To have a look at uh, what they've got available. Oh, Rukai kind of wants a pretzel. Yes, yeah, very cute. Yeah. And they do have a pretzel stand. I think I might get myself a duck tartiflette. Not duck tartiflette, sorry, the duck galette, which is basically like a duck crepe. 
that I had last time. It's the last stand over here that I really enjoyed. Kai has decided to go for this regular pretzel as her treat for being very brave. We'll debrief your experience with Tower of Terror in a bit when you feel a bit less overwhelmed. So Kai, did you enjoy Tower of Terror? No. It's very hot. <laughs> Um, you can I do your moment. Test. Um, um, yeah, it was scary, wasn't it? You posed. Very scary. How was it? I. Did you have a favourite moment? <laughs> there is no. There's not much to deal with, really. It was. It was terrifying. Um, it was scary, even so, because I was on the bit of rail. I yeah, I didn't no have rail, much to, yeah. I rail. So I literally like crushed Sam's hand. But it was fine because I was also scared. So having her crush my yeah. hand actually made me feel like I'm also like yeah. somehow secure. Um. Um. You said the about child. the child. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you have, you, you, this wasn't Rukai's first time experiencing the child since yeah. uh, October 2019. The They've added a creepy child to Tower of Terror, uh, and it's just so, it makes it even and scarier. And I, um, I won't say exactly what I said to someone, no, no. it's not YouTube friendly. Yeah. Um, but I just said it's frustrating, because she's obviously like, if you scream, it'll make it work. <laughs> about to drop me about five million feet so um i'm gonna scream if i, if I, I actually to. didn't scream at one point just out of stubbornness but um more because i was just like ah! yeah. yeah i just Horrible. screamed a lot and lolled but the child like speaking to in the middle of all this there were so many it was, it was a scary tower of terror i feel like in paris has gotten better and better honestly because i've done it so many times and every time i go on i find it scarier than before so i don't know if i'm just getting older or this is getting scarier and it's then just it's like Flying. Yeah. It's flying. You think flying is going to be cute? Not yeah, like that. It is. <laughs> Not like that. Is the, is the pretzel cute? It's really nice. Good. It didn't look like it was going to be like very salty, but it, it's got like a nice amount of salt. It's oh, nice. Good. Yeah, I'm happy now. I have now joined the queue at the last one, last uh, chalet stand, which is La Bigouden Gourmand just to get myself one of those duck galettes. Uh, this one is always the most popular one because they do crepes as well and everyone loves a good crepe. Both like savory ones, which are the galettes and also the sweet ones like Nutella and sugar ones. As I'm still waiting in the queue to get my galettes, it's literally like a very, very popular stand, as I said. Rukaya went to the next stand and got both of us some hot chocolate. So big shout out to Rukaya, honestly. I really enjoyed this trip, actually. Now that we're getting towards the end of the trip, I just wanted to give a general shout out to her and say how great it's been to spend the past couple of days with her. And we've had loads of lols and oh, She's been a phenomenal Disney travel buddy as well. And this hot chocolate is also very good. Got the duck galette, smells phenomenal. Got this wonderful view, got this other wonderful view. <laughs> Genuinely cannot wait to eat. This is um, basically our second meal of the day, considering really all we've had today was those, were those little balls that we had earlier and uh, some crepes. And now we're gonna have some ducks, just changing it up a little bit, the protein. Rikai just said cheese, beef and duck, the three group food groups. <laughs> she is a she is a comedian. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the first bite. You've, you've probably seen me eat this before. I did it literally last month when I was here. In fact, watch a full video of me going through all the stands here. This food festival is on until March of next year. So if you're coming anytime in the winter, it's like oh, yeah. it is. It's meant it's called like l'hiver gourmand, so it's meant to be like a winter thing, which is nice. It's nice that it's not just a Christmassy thing. Yeah, but it's so good. I can't do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's as good as I remember it, to be honest. Well, that duck galette was phenomenal. Now we are going to go to Ratatouille. It's a five minute queue for single rider, so we thought, yeah, thank you. So we thought, why not? We've only got a few, like maybe 10, 15 minutes left in the parks anyway. Hello. Well, the car has already gone off. I'm one of the rats. Uh, I've just been giving my single rider place. So I'm going to be able to stand next to two uh, other guests who are not in my party. But I've got my glasses and I'm looking forward to enjoying this ride. <laughs> What is the background right now? Oh, I just love it. It is lovely. Did you enjoy Vata too? Obviously, we weren't loved together, but it. yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've probably only done it. Did we even do it when we came for Christmas? I really don't remember, Rukaya. Kind of watch our watch the 2017 <laughs> November vlog when I have my channel. Um, but obviously, it's been a while for me. And I, I was just saying, Sam, I was like, it's a really a ride that's gonna like stand the test of time, and it already is because it came out in 2014, which is like 
so long ago now. Yeah, it's a really um, good one. Yeah, it's great. It's so good. And we were just saying, obviously, we did single rider. So we just got in super quick. And you don't need to be sat with your group. A hundred percent do not. Make the most of it like a tea single rider. Right? It's so not quick. worth queuing up like half an hour longer for it, in my opinion. I guess if you're with family and kids and stuff. Yeah. Like oh my God, if you're with children, obviously do not leave you, children. You can't do that anyway. <laughs> Back in the days yeah. when fast buses were a thing, free fast buses, there was like a method to get your fast bus you know at the start of the day and then not have to worry about queuing that's no longer a thing but at least single rider is back and obviously yeah, premier access is a thing that you can purchase if you really wish to but obviously we tried this earlier in this vlog as well and that didn't work out for us with tariff terror either so i don't know maybe in a future vlog let me know if you'd like me to i can try premier access again i'm not going to do like a whole vlog just buying them because it's just a waste of money in my opinion but i can try them in like just a random vlog one or two if i feel like it's going to be worthwhile and then actually show you the process and see if it's you know if it is worthwhile or not shout out to ariel on our way yeah, out of the parks face. my favorite what does the studios park a lot of people don't enjoy it but i do actually like it i actually really enjoy it at this time of evening again where it's starting to get dark there's a little magic shot section over here tower of terrors over there requires favorite rise but yeah it's cool that they have some magic shots going on these days um i think this might be a christmasy one anyway sadly it is time for us to leave like this trip has come to an end it's been a long time since i've done only like a three day trip two nights but even so even though we're only here for a couple of nights i feel like we did a lot you know that's the mickey tower earful tower some people like to call it but yeah it's been a lovely past couple of days it really has the middle of today was very cold it's been lovely we're gonna go back to our hotel now sequoia lodge and get our bags and stuff and then yeah we'll have to go back to back to london mar la Vallée, back to gardenor in paris and then yeah, from there we'll get the Eurostar home. So, I guess it has been a wrap. That's a wrap, as it says over there. <sighs> we are back at the Sequoia Lodge Hotel. It's basically time to leave. Our uh, Eurostar's at 8 p.m. or quarter past 8 p.m. from Paris. And yeah, at the moment I think it's like maybe a quarter to six. So we're gonna be heading off to the station in a bit to get the RER to Paris. But I just wanna take this time to say thank you. Like a big, genuine thank you if you've watched any of my videos since I've been making YouTube videos, but especially in the past year and a bit, since Disneyland Paris has reopened, I've really, really enjoyed vlogging. Like it's been such an exciting time for me. You know, I feel like I really appreciate the parks even more now. Last year, just with personally speaking, was a very, very difficult year for me. I know everyone had their struggles with 2020 for different reasons. And one day I'll speak about it, but it was like one of the worst years of my life in terms of, um, yeah, personal stuff. And even this year, like the struggles haven't just stopped. But Disneyland Paris has given me this escapism and I love vlogging so, so much and I'm just so glad that so many of you have been enjoying the vlogs recently as well. Right, that is it. Cheesy message over. I'm going to go and find Rakaya now. She went to World of Disney on our way back from the studios. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be rejoined with her very, very soon so she can say a quick goodbye as well. Two hours later. It's a few hours later. We're on the Eurostar, so you can probably tell we're literally about to get to London. I've been asleep for most of this journey, but I thought I'd once again say thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to get Rakaya to say goodbye very quickly as well. Here's Rakaya. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.